brain is a crown jewel in creation as well as in evolution. After having worked more than three decades with the wonderful organ, which is responsible for what we are doing in terms of evolution, intellectual, innovation, and understanding, I embarked upon an institution called BRAINS. BRAINS actually stands for Bangalore Regenerative Advanced Institute of Neurosciences. The only goal is that that we should understand the brain what we have and use it very effectively in our lifetime. It is estimated that we use only 7 to 10 percent of the brain what we have given. This is the capacity what we have. We have 50 trillion cells and in the body and 100 billion neurons of which we are only really using 10 percent. And these 100 billion neurons have the ability to form 300 trillion connections. That's the most important ability of the brain today. Now, that brain is why I use regenerative is that when I was in residency in the brain, we were told that brain cells are fixed and brain will never change in its structure. Today the concept is completely changed. We can change the brain and brain can change us. Right? So that is the dual responsibility. Similarly, environment can change the brain, brain can change the environment. So that is how we have ability to change the society and at the same time society can equally influence us. This is what is the importance of that. With the increasing life expectancy, the number of neurological conditions are becoming exponentially more. That has been a, for the first time in India, ICMR has taken up an initiative to study from uh, 2009 to 2019, in a decade's time, the number of neurological results have doubled. It's very, very interesting study for the first time. And the amount of disability associated with neurological conditions is immense. And today, in the world, neurological conditions are considered as a leading uh, cause of disability, right, apart from other problems. So, the, one of the main objectives of the brains is to create centers of excellence, to create standards of neurosciences across. We are uh, passionate for establishing standard of care, so that is the reason we are looking at the hospitals and I am really very thankful to care for giving us a wonderful infrastructure like this to create, to set the standard of care uh, system here. We have uh, a team of neuroscientists here, Dr. Mahendra, Dr. Deepak, right here, and uh, uh, clinical neurologist, uh, and we have a, a big neuro rehabilitation, rehabilitation team, and a neuro clinical care team, and neuro anesthesia team to provide a comprehensive neurosurgical and neurological care for the complex neurological conditions and the one room. That's the point number one. And we have sufficient infrastructure, technology, and diagnostic facilities to back up. And uh, most important is the state of the art neural rehabilitation, where we bring them back to the uh, society with the full, fullest possible ability. And one of the uh, newer advances we have also introduced is the intervascular neurosurgery that has become a, a very, very invasive uh, neurosurgical technique today, but especially for the treatment of certain very specialized vascular conditions. We have Dr. Harsha, who is an endovascular surgeon, uh, who is a provider. So with this, we are a complete, comprehensive center that can provide a full range of treatments, starting from pediatric to geriatric, uh, and to every possible subspeciality of the neurosurgeries and the one group. This is the body message. Uh, number two is that we, in the recent statistics, you will see that 37% of the total neurological conditions are stroke. Okay, so the brain stroke is one of the, again, leading causes of disability as well as death in this country. But unfortunately, a uh, significant amount of research has gone in and the research is not getting translated to the society because of the lack of awareness. So this is what is the problem. Still people go for, you know, the vision blood massage and things like that. I'm not saying against that, but there is something which we can do if they come in the right time to the right place, where the block can be removed, we can re-establish the blood flow to the brain, and brain has so much of capacity, but at the same time, very, very sensitive organ, 